Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing a what I got for Christmas and I'm a little bit late, but you know, Christmas, the chaos. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I wanna say that I am so, so grateful for all the gifts, whether big or small, that I received from my family and friends. I'm so lucky to have such a strong group of supportive and caring family and friends. Um, I love them all so much and I just, I had to give them a little shout out in the beginning. So be sure to like this video down below and subscribe and let's get into what I got. I wanted to start off with a gift that I got from my wonderful friend Polly. She picked me up this Volspa candle set and it is a fragrance pairing set. It comes with the Ode, the Cypri, the Rose, and the Blackberry and you guys, these all smell insane i cannot wait to start burning them i mean the packaging is just gorgeous in itself and when you slide them out they're actually a decent sized candle they may look small but they're very very fragrant my favorite scent is definitely the rose or the blackberry i really really love those two she also got me a set of satin pillowcases which are on my pillows right now um, and i love satin pillowcases they really really help with my oily hair as well as with my skin really really great gift and i'm so lucky to have her as a friend then my dad picked me up some birkenstocks these were actually on my list it is the mocha strap and they are legit birkenstocks so over summer i purchased the black birkenstocks that are like the waterproof version Kendall Jenner was wearing them. I'll insert a photo of that. And I really wanted to upgrade to a leather pair. And I thought about getting the all black pair, but this mocha pair, I just loved. It goes so, so well with any outfit. The one I'm wearing right now, all your sweatpants, even jeans, shorts, etc. I just love Birkenstocks. And yes, I'm one of those people that even wears them with socks on because I really don't care. They are so comfortable. I'll say the leather is a little bit denser and harder to break in compared to the rubber version. So I'll leave both below for you guys to check out, but I highly recommend investing in one of them, at least for the summer. They're my go-to summer shoe. On to some odds and ends from my father. He always picks me up some scratchers. So we did some holiday scratchers. No, I didn't win. But he also got me this Orient Express um, jigsaw puzzle. So it's a mystery jigsaw puzzle. So you have to figure out and answer the clues before figuring out the actual map of the puzzle. And I thought that was cute. You know, it's quarantine, puzzles are fun, and it's something you can do with your friends or with your family. So we're definitely gonna whip this out soon. He also picked me up a $25 gift card from Starbucks, which is always nice. I don't usually buy coffee out. I have this like joy of making it at home, but it's a nice treat, especially when you're out and about walking around in the city or shopping and you want to pick up a quick drink got this bad boy he picked me up this baseball tee which is part of their like Dodgers World Series merch which I'm so excited to rock especially around LA and then a matching Dodgers mask this one is actually black and gold which is not the usual Dodger colors but like I'll take it he knows I love baseball and that's something that me and my dad have been going to for years on end he loves baseball he would take me to games when I was younger so I've always been a really big Dodger fan so I always love to get more Dodger merch especially World Series merch the last item on on the clothing trend my dad went on a whim and I'm really proud of him because this is not something he would normally buy me he got me this really really cute fuzzy cardigan in this like green dark teal color and the material is just it's stunning um, I did try this on though and I didn't love how it fit on me so we are gonna return it um, it's from a little boutique called velvet by Graham and Spencer that I believe is located in the Lido Village district near Newport Beach so we're gonna go down there later, maybe hit up Nobu, um, find something else. But I just have to say, he has come such a long way, you guys. He used to buy me like orange hoodies from American Eagle and I'd be like, dad, I really don't know where to begin. And look at him buying these like fancy cardigans. I'm just very impressed by him this year. Moving on to home type things, the Nod Pod also from my dad. This is on my wish list. I wanted a weighted eye mask that wasn't strapped with like Velcro or with an elastic strap because it would constantly dent my hair and just be uncomfortable throughout the night. It also was applying a lot of pressure onto my face, which wrinkles, like slouch, you know what I mean? So this is what it looks like all the way around your face. So instead of it being just here you've also got it on the side so it feels a lot more seamless a lot more comfortable and it's not like digging into your eye area the other thing he got from anthropology that i did put on my wish list was this apron so it's this blue like dual colored apron it has a nice big pocket in the front 
ties in the back and I just loved how cute this was. I love to cook and I constantly am spilling on myself so why not get an aesthetic apron to help handle the mess so that my clothes don't have to go through it. So the last gift I want to share is a gift from my dad's girlfriend and she actually got me a few other things but I'm just not going to show them in here just because I've already set them out or they were food and I ate them. Um, but I really, really loved this gift and she got me a balsamic vinegar and olive oil set and both of these look so good and expensive and lovely. I'm very, very much into olive oils and vinegars. It is something that I love to play around with. My favorite thing to put olive oil and vinegar on is avocado toast right now, but it's also, you know, a great salad dressing um, or something just to have on hand for bread. It also came in this adorable little bag so you can see through it and I just thought it was such a lovely gift and I very, very much appreciate her giving me a small little something. The last item that I am probably the most excited about and just so grateful for is this here. It is my Cartier Love Ring. Um, it is something that I actually received from a family member and they had passed it down to me and I just feel so grateful to be a part of the family that I am a part of and have such generous family members. It, it truly was a shock and a surprise. It was supposed to be a ring finger. I was supposed to fit it on my right hand ring finger and I was excited to wear that, but um, my fingers were a little too small. It's absolutely gorgeous. It goes so well with anything I'm wearing. It adds just a touch of elegance and glam and it's something that literally never goes out of style. So I love it. I'm so grateful. Thank you so, so much. Um, I will cherish it forever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe down below to join the family. I've got a bunch of other haul videos coming up, specifically from Aritzia. So keep an eye out and I'll talk to you guys all very, very soon. Bye.